and we will in a second get a call from uh, Muammar Reyes, El Capitan, the, <laughs> <laughs> the fixer that you know from the base game. Uh, and there is one thing that we wanted to clarify. It's not Mama Wallace that is going to be selling you guys the cars and dealing with all those, all those missions. It's Muammar Reyes. <laughs> yeah, oh. I, I I don't think Mama Wells would be able to sell the car. She can actually sell you a drink if you, if you ask her nicely, but not necessarily a car. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> uh, all right, so what can you tell us about these uh, quests? Yeah, so, okay, so in Dogtown, um, you'll get this kind of new uh, activity unlocked, uh, vehicle gigs or vehicle contracts. Uh, Miramar reaches out and he's like, hey, you're in Dogtown. You can help me out with something and uh, pick up this vehicle. And then, and this is the introductory quest to it, I believe, that we're playing right here. Um, when you get there, he's going to be like, listen, I've got a bunch of different targets throughout Night City and Dogtown. Um, if you can help me with this, then, um, you know, you'll be compensated. And the, one of the ways he compensates you is by unlocking new types of vehicles, including missile launchers. This is how oh. you get the missile launchers unlocked, is through Miramar. Um, and there's, and there's, of course, as, as we like to do at CD Projekt Red, there's a story surrounding this. And it is and for me, it was, it was insanely surprised when I first time played it, and it was just proper story to it. Yeah. It was yeah, awesome, yeah, you know? Yeah. It's, it's, it's just such, it's just fun. It's really fun. So, yeah, and, you know, and it has to do with uh, Ron's recruitment, like his hometown and that kind of stuff. And um, I don't want to spoil anything, but one of the key features of this is that um, it is, you, like, you just see it, like, right, like you'll see on your map. It's like, oh, here's one of the targets, here's one of the targets, and it's dynamic. It's, and the objectives are dynamic, and the enemies that come at you are dynamic, and it could be different gangs, it could mm -hmm. be Tiger Claws, it could be Voodoo Boys, it can be whoever. And um, some of the activities are, are uh, actually hacking another vehicle and getting it, so you've got to like, you know, ghost a vehicle and be sneaky yeah, stealth, yeah, yeah. right? Some are just all out combat, some are about like, you gotta get to a place in time. So it's a very, and, and it's different locations, it's all like, what's the word I'm looking for? I, I hesitate to use this, uh, dynamic, I keep using it, but it's like, <laughs> it is yeah, dynamic, it's, it's all over, it's all over the place. Um, but again, you unlock it in Dogtown with Phantom Liberty, um, but you'll see it throughout Night City at that point, point. and Dogtown. But it won't be in the base game, it's just the it's Phantom not, this Liberty. Is, this is, this is okay. one of the things in Phantom okay. Liberty, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you mentioned that uh, we can actually unlock some uh, mount, uh, cars with weapons, vehicles with weapons through that quest. But mm -hmm. we had pe people asking us whether they can actually add weapons onto the cars that they already have? No, it's preset. Though okay. there are some vehicles in the base game that you already like purchased or you already mm -hmm. got and we did add weapons oh, to okay. it because it was like, you know, kind of supposed to be there. So, yeah, there's some of that. Okay, that cool. <laughs> Uh, so uh, you, you mentioned that you can also do the hacking during uh, car combat. Yeah. Uh, do you have to be a net runner to do that? You, ha you have to be a net runner. Um, well, I mean, you know, we've got this open class system, right? Yeah, so you yeah. can be a hybridized net runner. You can be a smidge of a net runner. You just need right? some uh, cyber deck. You need a cyber deck and you need a perk to unlock mm -hmm. it. But the better of a net runner you are, the more different hacks on vehicles you unlock. So. Um, okay. And so you can hack the actual vehicles, but you can also hack passengers inside of vehicles. Ah, okay. And when you hack the vehicle, some of the vehicle hacks that we have is like, and this is a fun one in, in chases, is to make them lose control of their car and like yeah. spear, you know, steer off and, nice. and crash or even force brakes. And of course, one of the really powerful ones are uh, to detonate. You can detonate the car on them. Um, and then probably the most fun one is you can remote control the vehicle. Okay. All right. So what, can do we, I just can, start can from we, the top? Can we talk about you know you know why can we shoot? From because the it's car. awesome. <laughs> That's why we can <laughs> shoot. Yeah. Uh, and right now there, we've got uh, some mounted guns that are shooting from. And if you go into so yeah so uh, vehicles um, all of them you can you know use your pistols your SMGs and shoot from it. Um, the vehicles some vehicles have uh, mounted turrets of which we're demonstrating there. Uh, and then some vehicles. Uh, have uh, missile racks as well. Um, so as far as the, the vehicle combat goes, those are your options with that. Oh, and there's hacking. You can hack as well from the vehicle and into other vehicles. Um, how awesome does that look? And man, you know, kudos to who recorded this in first person, driving in yeah, first yeah, person and shooting in first person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, but yeah, so, and should I jump into the police system? Yes, here? because I think we just made them a bit angry. <laughs> like, yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, I, oh, with vehicle combat, I should actually back up for a second. So on the bikes, you can also use melee weapons. Oh, which is cool. a lot of fun. And then um, you can precision shot the gas tanks, um, which is different on different vehicles as they're different made. So it's one of those fun things that, um, you know, as you get really good at this, you can really pull off some cool stunts. Um, and you can hit tires with the katana blade. You can shoot tires. Um, yeah, and so then the police system, as you know, you get into trouble, one reason or another, uh, you start to gain heat. And when the police show up at first, they're just like, okay, where did the, where did the action happen? Where did the crime happen? Or where did we get called for whatever reason and whatever you know, kind of quest or whatever? And I try not to spoil things, but when they uh, uh, show up at the scene, if you're still at the scene, then of course you get into combat, but you might want to go. But if you start to really crank up the heat, then they'll send more people at you. And they have tactics. They try to run you off the road. They try to T-ball. It's so much fun when you're going full cases. speed and yeah. suddenly, bam! <laughs> it's like we got those moments. It's really cool. So, and then, and then if you really crank up the heat, they start to bring out their own uh, weaponized vehicles. And then, of course, we're sitting here, yeah, and Max you crank Star. it out even more. Now you got Max Tech uh, oh, that yeah, shows five up. Five stars. Yeah, yeah. And when Max Tech shows up, so if you're in a vehicle and Max Tech's trying to get you, you'll see on the screen they're trying to hack your vehicle to you know stop you. And then if your vehicle gets hacked, then they show up in an AV, or if you're on foot already, and four Max Tech come out. There's five different archetypes, mm -hmm. and it's a random four of the five different archetypes that come out uh, to fight you. And one of the things is like, as, as those of you who know you've played, um, there's difficulty modes, right? Um, and you put on lower difficulty modes, guys are actually easier. However, with max tech, nope. So nope. they just have like nope. one minimum, level hard. Minimum is hard. <laughs> minimum is hard, and there's a minimum level as well. So there is no story mode for max tech. Mm -hmm. So the moral uh, <laughs> is don't do crime. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, because the thing is, is you don't get to this level unless you want it. You really yeah, got to yeah, push yeah. for this level, right, to, to get it here. And so if you're engaging in that, we want to make sure that max tech is, is an encounter. Um, yeah, so what should I go into? I mean, I could talk forever about I this mean, stuff. I mean, There's I, just I so much. I don't know. I was playing, and, and I was randomly just driving and try, was trying to get rid of the police. And the more I tried get, uh, getting rid of them, the more of yeah. them were showing up. So I actually reached max tech this way because really? I just wanted them to leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, I just actually wanted to ask, like, what's the, you know, the search loop for the police? Like, mm -hmm. can you just, like, you know... I know you can run away from them, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. but you have to just run and run and run because <laughs> I manage that. But um, is it difficult or, you know, at some point they just, okay, so there's nobody there, let's, let's drop the search. Yeah, so as far as, um, you know, one, two, three stars, you, you maneuver away. Um, it's, you know, I mean, we, we try to strike the balance of the realism, but also the agency of being like, mm -hmm. I'm trying to get out of this. And I'm not sure what's shown in this video, but we show you, like, we expand the radar, we show mm -hmm. the circles, and we like to, internally, we call it the Pac-Man game. Um, <laughs> because, like, if you've got, like, two, three, even four stars to some extent, um, you know, you'll see little circles of their, 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 their cone of visions or whatever. Exactly. And you can navigate in the roads and avoid them and that kind of thing or whatnot. Um, and then, of course, if you get on foot, it's a little bit easier to, to lose them. So mm -hmm. you should be familiar with, uh, with that, that kind okay. of right there. And then, of course, if you go into uh, quest areas and there's a quest you want to pursue, we tone it down appropriately for the, for the quest as well. Okay. Yeah. Um, also, I, I don't know if, uh, if we can see that here, um, but I remember when I was playing and I had police on my ass. I actually had the gang the members. Yes, that's my one. <laughs> um, I had the uh, actually gang members, you know, helping me to fight the police. Is that mm -hmm. the case as well? Like for most of the gangs, so I was yeah, just lucky. Well, I mean, um, and I've, I've talked about this in other interviews, but one of the important points is that it's the player is an agent that does stuff and it affects the world, but we also have other agents in the world and we've also done a, a number of different enhancements on that front. You might see like two gangs just like chase, ch you might see cops chasing some gangsters or whatever. It has nothing to do with you. It's happening in the world. The world's alive. Now you can interfere and particularly going back to Dogtown, if you see like a caravan doing a weapons transport or whatever, or you, there's an airdrop or whatever and, 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 and Kurt's militia is coming to pick it up, you can intercept and maybe there's some cool loot to be found there or whatnot. But it's the same thing here. Like, if you're into it with the police and there's something else going on with the gang, yeah, it's, it could be a mix. So they can help out or not. If you play it, if you play it right. Yeah. <laughs> Got to be careful where your bullets fly. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, I actually also wanted to go back to, to the heat system because, you know, we have the stars, but can we actually explain how you can get the stars? Like, so if I, you know, you know, shoot someone randomly on the street, do I get already one star, two stars, or do I actually have to run through like a bunch of people to get like three stars? Well, so if you commit any crime, you get a star. Like that, any okay. crime, you know, if you if you run someone over, if you you know shoot someone intentionally, you get you get a you get a star. Now, especially when you get into um, a dog town, but also in some other situations, you might get um, some stars based on quest situations, like things mm. that that are happening. Um, and how do you? I mean, it's. I mean, there's a formula and it's a great end. So I can't say exactly like, okay, if you kill three people, it's, okay. oh, oh, an important point. It varies by district and neighborhood okay. and funding, oh. right? Because we wanted, because I mean, part of the cyberpunk world, Night City and the story, it's socioeconomic. So they care a bit more than others. I mean, always one person, you run, it's a star, it's a crime, but how far do they escalate? Do they send in the big guns? Do they send in max tech? It really depends on the funding in the district. And you also hear different, uh, um, the police uh, have different mm -hmm. comments about what, what district and how much they care, what they're gonna do and that kind of stuff. Yep. Can we maybe tell a bit more about Dogtown police? Like, and will sure. NCPD you, go itself, there? Um, I mean, police, bar guests, yeah, yeah, I mean, police is not allowed there, right? The thing yeah. is that there's no NCPD, right? The, the bar guests are there. And we just said like, they're trying, to keep the district safe, but they're not that much uh, trying to protect you. But still, if you're gonna shoot them, they will try to shoot you back. And the same system goes, the more you shoot bar guests, the more you shoot people, the more stars uh, they will have. They uh, have different units, they yeah, have different vehicles. Can, can, can we talk what's gonna happen over five stars in lockdown? Or? Well, it's a little bit of a spoiler. Uh, I, mean, okay. it's, I mean, you already answered this. I mean, spoiler, it's, it's yeah, okay, fine, no, never mind. Any rate, yeah, there's different <laughs> units, but uh, yeah. Um, okay, but, but I mean, no, in Dogtown, yeah, MaxTech will show up because if there's someone that's at that level and it's cyber psychosis, like, you know, because you're causing that much mayhem, that's essentially what it is. Again, player agency-wise, it's not like we take over your, your character and then you're doing a cyber psychosis thing. Then yes, MaxTech will show up in, in Dogtown, but otherwise it is the Bargas militia. Yeah. All right, can we defeat oh. MaxTech? I know. Sebastian well, is already someone's killing doing great, them. Someone's doing great jobs to surviving for such a long time with Max Dex. So. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He, he was trying to show how badass he is. I get it, I get it. <laughs> um, but no, the, um, and the other thing to note is in uh, Badlands, it's Militech. Militech is out there All right. uh, in the Badlands as far as the units go with the heat system. All right, so I think we covered most of the police, uh, police feature. If you guys have any questions, uh, please drop them on our forums and Discord. So. Uh, we will try to clarify anything that's unclear or, you know, if you want to know more uh, during the next stream as well. But maybe the same guess or maybe oh, we with actually, someone else. We actually have a cool question from our Twitch chat. So we can run from the police, we can fight with the police, but can we bribe them? No. We don't have a bribe. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Sorry, right, yeah, I was just watching. I was watching. I wanted to see what he did. He did quick, which is really fun because yeah, yeah, when you yeah. do the slam, it does physics on vehicles, and you but, can get it gets nice. But that's props for him for yeah. really surviving such a long time. Yeah, yeah. Max tag. All right, what's the what's the next question? Uh, okay, we uh, so so we have a question in general about Phantom Liberty. Does the story take us out of Dogtown mm -hmm. at all? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, a bit. Yeah, a bit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it does. Well, so, it does. so, 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 so we're well, not gonna spoil. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, the, yeah. so yeah, there are parts that you're gonna explore new places okay. in Night City itself, but the majority of the thing is it's Dogtown. That's enough. That's enough. Okay. <laughs> I think that's enough for right. for people to know. Right. Uh, and another one: Will Dogtown be accessible outside of Phantom Liberty? Uh, so no. To be able to um, have the full experience of Dogtown, you have to uh, get Phantom Liberty. However, for people that don't get Phantom Liberty, uh, you're gonna be able to see Phantom Li Liberty, uh, sorry, Lockdown. Lockdown, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, from, uh, from, let's say, from perspective of someone that cannot get in there. So you're gonna see the mm -hmm. whole thing, you're gonna see the gates, you're gonna see people standing, trying to get there, uh, but you will not be able to get because you don't have the access okay. to it. So you will see the, uh, yes, the gate. Exactly, you see the gate, you will see Horizon, the Vista itself, it's mm -hmm. there, but you will not be able, be able to get in. Okay. So now I love, it, I love it. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's he's trying to like they're shooting past him with the with the mounted weapons, and he's trying to out, out maneuver. This is this is fun, and he's got the you see the bar there, the hack. They're trying to hack, and they disabled his car now. The full kit to deal with all the different dynamics in a different way, right? To really just feel different. 
Um, and crap, there was one there that I just, oh yeah, yeah. The, the, um, so what kind of pairs pretty well with the body tree, which I think they showed there a little bit, is on one of the sides of the tech tree, you can unlock the ability to go even uh, higher with your cyberware. So there's a cyberware limit. Um, and then in the tech tree, if you get the right perks, you can kind of push past that limit. However, if you push past that limit, you're at risk of getting into what we call, it's the edge, edge runner perk, by the way, is the name of one of them, of course, right? We do. But we, um, you can get into a fury mode where essentially you're overloading and you're starting to receive like damage. You have, uh, you, you know, your health max is lower and that kind of stuff. But it pairs really well with this build because you can keep getting adrenaline and, and regaining and your health, health, right? Yeah. So it's one that just happens to, I mean, I, I can't wait to see all the different uh, builds that the players find and how they mix and match. This is just one way to mix and match like body and tech and kind of uh, has that fantasy fulfillment. And I have a lot of fun playing that one myself. <laughs> Oh, and of course, how can I how can I miss? So another way you can close gaps is you can charge, and then you knock people back like you know uh, bowling pins, um, and that's a good one for closing gaps. And if you get certain perks, you can. I'm talking too fast, aren't I? No, no, no. no. I'm talking too fast. It's okay. I get, I get excited. I get excited. <laughs> you get excited. Yeah, yeah. There it goes. Uh, that was that was like a gratuitous throw there, that, which is fun to do, of course, as well. But you feel really satisfied if you see an enemy in the distance and you and you throw and you arc it just right and bam, you splat them. It's so much fun. Uh, so you actually touched already uh, the edge runner perk, but uh, mm -hmm. what I would like us to clarify that player is not getting cyber psychosis, right? Correct, correct. Yeah, no, I saw there was some, uh, so pushing the limit and getting into the fury state, you're not ever gonna like lose control of your character and start shooting civilians and stuff like that. Like it's like that, that's not like, but if you do, you know, uh, get to the point where you start on your own agency creating mayhem, definitely the police, which we'll talk about later, will start labeling you as a cyber psycho because essentially you're in, you're, you have the agency and you are behaving that way. So you can but you don't play. lose control of your character. Yes, you can role play.